Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. It's very hot in the UK right now and uh, I'm enjoying the weather. It's brilliant. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, what we're actually going to be talking and looking at is four fan ideas that actually made it into Fortnite Battle Royale. And these are genuinely things that definitely made it into the game and I have the concept arts for all of them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know all of the people who actually created these. So, uh, you know, if you notice one of them or anything like that, Feel free to comment their name or something like that, and uh, yeah, I'll try my best to research up on it and uh, try and find the original post. But basically, I do have the concept art, and it's going to be a very fun video, guys, because I guarantee one or two of these things you didn't even know was a fan idea. So yeah, very cool indeed. Uh, now, before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like if you do end up enjoying it. Let's see if we can hit around about 600 likes. That would be really awesome. It only takes a second, and it really helps me out. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite videos just like this one right here every single day. You would be missing out if you didn't subscribe, guys. That's what I'm trying to say here. But other than that, let us get into talking about four ideas that made it into Fortnite Battle Royale. Starting off with number one, which is going to be a very basic one in my opinion. And uh, this one was actually uh, him cops and robbers, or, you know, robbers, I guess. So, of course, you guys know that there were two new br brilliant skins that were added into the game only around about a week ago. And uh, these were basically the robber skins. Yeah, that is right. They, they'll probably be on screen right now. Well, if you didn't already know, these were actually fan ideas that were created as concept arts a long time ago and it was very fun actually and you know what honestly the likeness of the concept art from the guy who made them to the actual things that turned out in game are absolutely insane so what you're going to see on screen right now is the concept art at the top as you can see the person who ever created this actually created the male variants where he had the little mustache, the female variants where she had the kind of a, you know, the little eye patch and all that kind of stuff or the kind of mask. And they pretty much look the exact same as what they look like in the game itself. I mean, they have the black beanies on, uh, you know, they've got the mustache, he's got the bl black kind of thing around their eyes, and they've got the white silvery type of hair. And they just look the same, to be honest. Even the pants have camo pants, and I'm pretty sure on the male of... Uh, female variants of these skins, they also have kind of army prints on them too. So it's kind of crazy that Epic Games actually stuck to the complete likeness of these actual skins themselves. Now, I'm not actually sure what the guy called these, of course, like I said, I don't even know the guy who made these, but uh, well done to you, dude, for actually getting these in the game, but I don't know whether he actually called them the Rapscallion and the other one, uh, but basically, that's what they're called in-game, and if they even use the names, that would absolutely blow my mind. Absolutely crazy stuff, and a really good concept design, so whoever made that, dude, awesome job, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, the next thing that we're actually going to be moving on to is, uh, yeah, one that not a lot of people know because this was very early on in the game itself, and this is Haunted Hills. Now, of course, Haunted Hills wasn't in the game when it first came out, and in fact, this was actually a concept art for somebody on Reddit. I remember seeing the concept art the day he made it. I don't know the dude's name, unfortunately. But uh, I saw it and I was like, dude, you know what? That is a really good idea. And as you can see on screen right now, there is the concept art. And of course, bear with me, it doesn't look exactly like Haunted Hills, of course. But this was actually, uh, he actually says here, location, the western side of the map, possibly between Greasy Grove and Pleasant Park, which it kind of is and it kind of isn't. But, you know, it is in that side of the map, personally. Uh, but as you can see, he says here, a mansion with six chest spawns with high loot, one chest spawn on the center of the bridge. They never really did a bridge or anything like that, or any kind of moat or water, unfortunately. Uh, but they did do some kind of, like, kind of church kind of looking thing, where it was kind of like three or four chests spawn inside that church, and that was pretty good. Uh, but not only that, you know, he did, like, a rustic village, which was added into the game, which are the little tiny rustic kind of church, uh, kind of crypts and everything like that. And also, you know, it is kind of covered by a slightly a tiny bit of forest. And uh, at the bottom here, he says, Notes, I was going for a bit of a facing world vibe uh, by Unreal Tournament. He basically added a lot of detail and a lot of kind of stuff into the actual concept design itself. Um, unfortunately, like, I don't know, it wasn't exactly the way he planned, but it was a very big likeness, and honestly, 
This came out around about a month or two before they added Haunted Hills and it was just brilliant that it, like, you know, the likeliness of this being added got added. It was just insane. I mean, somebody's location, somebody's fan location, pretty much in one way or another got added into Fortnite Battle Royale and that is absolutely crazy. I think it is a brilliant thing. Uh, so to the person who created this, I can't remember your name for the like of, life of me, but I do remember seeing the OG post. Uh, congratulations to you, dude. It must have been a pretty huge accomplishment. So very awesome stuff indeed. Now the next thing that we're actually going to be looking at is one that recently got added. I believe it was like two patches ago. And that was the fact that traps... If, say if you have an enemy, his trap will look normal like they've always looked, but if your friend places down a trap, it will actually be kind of tinted in a blue kind of color. And uh, the concept art is on screen right now, and as you can see, it says here that the enemy traps will look like that, and the friend traps will look kind of blue and have a very noticeable color difference if you take your time and look at them. And uh, around about, a, I think it was around about two or three weeks before this change got implemented into the game, a person on Reddit actually put across this idea. He was like, listen, I'm sick of not knowing if it's my friend's trap or anything like that. Can we please add in this idea? He created this concept art and it got added into the game. It was simple of that. It was, it was just really quickly added into the game around about three weeks later. Of course, you know, this is a very easy thing to add into the game. So, you know, it was obvious that it probably would have been added into the game. But still, you know, awesome stuff, dude. I really like the fact that I can now know when my friend places down a trap. Although it is still a little bit hard to kind of look at. But still, you know, it is an awesome thing that you did. And I'm glad that the developers actually picked up on it. Um, other than that, we're going to be moving on to the final thing that was added as a fan design into Fortnite Battle Royale, which, to be honest, wasn't really a big thing. I mean, we all knew it was going to happen anyway, but uh, basically, the horrific concept art is going to be on screen right now. And yes, it does look very extremely scary, but... Around about three months before the Tomato Town head actually got added into Fortnite Battle Royale, this concept art was actually created. And as you can see, it is the Tomato Town guy. It really is. I mean, it's very scary. It really, really is. But he has the mustache. He has the red head and everything like that. He's got the big smile. And he has the apron on with the little pizza in the middle of his chest and everything. Um, it got added into the game. I mean, we all knew it would have anyway because basically if you did go to a uh, tomato town You could see that you know the logo or the mascot of the pizza place there Did already have a kind of head to represent the brand itself So we all knew it was gonna happen just like we know that the Der Burger guy is gonna happen But still, you know, it was kind of cool that this guy picked up on it very quickly and he was like, you know what would be cool if they made a skin about that because this was all happening before the fun skins started to come, you know, like the alien kind of a fish leviathan skins and everything. Like back when he created this, it was very basic skins. It wasn't like over the top skins like we see today. So uh, yeah, congratulations to you dude that, you know, your idea sort of made it into the game, but it kind of didn't at the same time, you know. But still, it was a fan concept art and it did eventually get added into the game. Um, other than that, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, the Durburger helmet guy should be in the guy in the game and stuff. And obviously, those things will happen, but um, you know, they're very, very predictable. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you did end up enjoying this video, do not forget to leave a like. I hope that you enjoyed it, and tell me what is your favorite concept art that made it into Fortnite Battle Royale? Was it the traps? Was it Haunted Hills? Was it the Tomato Tan guy? Or was it the robber skins? Please tell me in the comment section below. I would love to know how divided we are on this subject. Personally, for me, I love Haunted Hills, and I think it was a brilliant concept, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, guys, enjoy the gameplay in the background, have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh. See ya.